So Dr. Diaz, as an HR influencer and a dean in HR world, so where is the future of work going to look like? We, we talked about previously about chat GDP, and we always talked about previously about AI, the robots are coming to take the jobs. And like, where do you see the future of work is going? And then on top of it, COVID came and remote working started. So it's like, there's a lot of movements happening and kind of the future is unknown, excited, but still some people might be fearing about that. Well, the, the future of work is uh, going to be, I think, permanently influenced by the pandemic. Um, I, I think the idea of working from home or working hybrid or working remote um, is here to stay. I think we have made a definitive case that it is perfectly all right to not show up at the office every single day. And perhaps some people have also made the case that it is also maybe not necessarily okay to never show up at work, but some jobs you can do that. Yeah. Um, so um, I think the future of work is gonna be a combination of what we have today, full-time people, um, that are either going to be full-time at the office or hybrid. Uh, yeah. We're also going to find that we're going to have some part-time people. We're mm -hmm. also going to find people who are gig, purely gig. Um, and then we're going to find people who work remote. And these four types will come together um, to work on specific um, things on the company. Um, what I also think it's interesting is from the point of view of, of an employee, and not, not from the point of view of the companies, from the point of view of an employee, um, the way careers are now defined is completely different because only if you are in the first of those categories of full-time employee with a company, yeah. will you actually have the company worry about your career. In the other three categories, you have to worry about your own career. Yeah. So two things will happen is we, we are going to have to, uh, employees have to take better care of their own training. How do they improve their own skills so yeah. that they can be marketable? And the second thing that's going to happen, I think, is we are going to stop thinking of careers in the same sense as we did before. Uh, we're going to think a lot more about income streams, mm -hmm. uh, uh, different ways to generate income yeah. uh, at the same time. So as opposed to having a job, which is the usual paradigm, uh, most yeah. of us will now have different things that we do uh, that will generate different income streams for us. Yeah, it's all about a lot of time. Like, I believe also COVID helped people launch their own uh, jobs. You know, a lot of times they start doing coaching or they reevaluated the type of jobs they're doing and they're maybe the side hustle it's becoming their main income or they start doing a side hustle that also brings some income. Yes. And I often say to people that come to me with this question, I say, well, how do you know what to devote yourself to? And I always say, well, you always have like a main one and a hobby. Yeah. Uh, try to monetize the hobby. And when the hobby is taking more time than the main job, that's when you flip and you yeah. spend more time with the hobby than the main job. So that that's, I think, what the future is going to look like. People doing different things and... It's, it will no longer look like you're changing careers is because you will just be doing different things at the same time. And some will take more uh, weight than others at, at any particular point in time. Thank you, Dr. Diaz, for your input. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Dr. Diaz.